What's up guys? Thanks for stopping by What's New Barbecue. It's me, Kenneth, and today we're going to be making some bone-in pork chops that I snagged from my local grocery store. They got a really nice selection at the butcher shop right there, and they look great. It was buy one, get one, and I couldn't pass it up. I already got the Weber kettle fired up in the driveway heating up so we can reverse sear these bad boys using the slow and sear. These are going to turn out great. I appreciate everybody for stopping by. And before we get to cooking, I wanted to also mention from now on, every Monday we'll be doing a live chat session on this channel and it's called Beer 30 Live Chat Session. So y'all make sure to put that on your calendar and come be a part of that conversation and the community getting together. And it's a really great time. I appreciate y'all for stopping by. Let's get out there to that Weber and get these pork chops cooked up. All right, guys, we're out at the Weber kettle and like I was mentioning, we're smoking up some bone-in pork chops that I went ahead and seasoned with some meat church, honey hog hot, as well as a little topping of black pepper. And we have the slow and sear rolling with some apple wood for our cook today. I'm going to go ahead and get this lid shut down and I'll keep y'all posted. We've been rolling for about 15 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and get these flipped over. Look at that beautiful color on there. Go ahead and get these flipped over and let them keep on smoking. And then I'll check back with y'all in about 10 or 15 minutes more. And we'll sear them up. Just ran inside and actually grabbed a little bit more of the Meat Church Honey Hog Hot. And I'm just going to touch up some of these areas now that we flip this pork chop over. So we can keep adding some flavor to these chops while they're smoking. Just wanted to update y'all. I will catch back up with y'all when we're searing these bad boys up. Alright, it's been about 15 more minutes and the color is looking great on these pork chops. You can tell it's absorbing that applewood smoke. We got our fire going really well. So what we're going to do is go ahead and sear these bad boys up on each side. Man, this smells amazing. A little room here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and sear these up on each side, and I will catch back up with y'all when we're giving these a taste. Alright guys, and we have our broccoli done, and our bone-in pork chop is looking great. It's time to give this a test. Alright, we got our pork chops pulled off the Weber and it's time to give them a taste. Y'all saw what it looked like. It's smelling amazing in here. Got me a good taste test right here. Still smoking. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Wow, that meat church honey hog hot is perfect on pork guys. If y'all haven't tried that out, make sure you check it out. I'll put their information down below in the description box. Also got a little broccoli as y'all saw. Let's do a little combo bite here. Mm. I love my vegetables just as much as I love the pork chop. I appreciate y'all for stopping by What's Near Barbecue. Until next time, y'all keep on barbecuing. Veggie, veggie, veggie.